Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom ringtones for Cisco Call Manager Express, and I'm going to be doing this and push it via the command line. I am CCP Seth. Let's get into it. So there's four easy peasy steps when it comes to pushing custom uh, ringtones to your Cisco VoIP network or your little tiny VoIP network, and especially if you're running uh, Cisco Call Manager Express and you don't have the GUI version and you don't use uh, Cisco Configuration Professional. Do it the old fashioned way, you know the command line. So the first step when you want to push a custom ringtone to your uh, phones is you need to convert it into a specific file and it is going to be a .raw file or a raw file. So if you go on Cisco's website and you try to figure out how to do this, they just give you the settings on how uh, this file needs to look like and they said oh just use any type of you know sound file conversion software I was like well what's what's a good one so I found this this uh, program called audacity and this is what I'm gonna be using to show you how to do it so download audacity it's free audacity google it and then it's like the first thing there and then you need to get your audio file that you want to push. You can get this through zedge.com or just download it off of YouTube if you want to know uh, how to do that. But zedge.com, that's the one that your your phones use. So just go to zedge.com. Once you open it, you are going to change the project rate to 8,000 hertz, split the stereo to mono, export the audio, and give it these settings here. All right. So let's go and do that. Let me shrink this down. So this is what Audacity looks like. And we are just going to open a file. And I have it on my desktop. And let's see here. All supported files. I'm going to do a Pokemon theme song MP3 because, you know, Pokemon Go was out. And this is just appropriate at, at this time right now. So the first thing we're going to do is change the project rate to 8,000. Then what we will do is we need to change this uh, uh, audio file and split it to mono. So go ahead and click this, uh, click that little drop down menu, split to mono, and it will give us two audio files. We only need one of them. So just click out one. Then let's save it or export it. Export audio. Hit that. Now let's send it to the desktop. Let's change it to just Pokemon. And then we're going to choose other uncompressed files. This is how we're going to change it to a .raw or a .raw. Go ahead and do that. Click the options button. And we are going to choose the RAW headless option for the header. The encoding is going to be ULAW because that is what we are going to be using in the United States. Click OK. Hit Save. This will come up. Doesn't really matter. Just click OK. And that should be on our desktop. So let me see if I have it on my desktop here. Let me open this up. Desktop Pokemon. There it is. There is that Pokemon.raw file. All right. Let's get back to our steps here. After we do all that, double check to make sure that it is a raw file, and we'll move on to the next step. Edit the ringless.xml file. Use Notepad to edit. So this is what it, the phones are going to be looking at, and this is how they're going to display what the ringtone looks like. You can write it out uh, how, as you see right here. Or you can just go to Cisco's website where it says, you know, create custom ringtones for CME or something like that. And you'll see this right here. Uh, copy and paste it, put it in Notepad, and then we are going to edit this real quick. Do I have it up? Let me see if I have it up. I have one already made. Uh, let me see what it looks like here. So .xml, you could just open it with Notepad. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And let's close that file. And we are just going to edit this. If we have multiple ringtones that we want to use, then we will have more rings. You just copy this 
right there, those four uh, lines, copy and paste it, and then change everything. So I'm only going to push one ringtone, so this is all I need. I want the display name to be Pokemon theme. And then the, uh, the file name is actually going to be just Pokemon. Ooh, did I do a capital P? It's very case sensitive, so you got to make sure that it everything matches. And it was lowercase, so it's Pokemon.raw. All right, let's leave that. There's so many things open. And then we just save it. Save. That should be good. Close out. Moving on to step three. Copy the PCM, which is actually the raw, uh, that raw file, and XML files to the system flash on the CME router. So whatever the TFTP server is, uh, that this is where you'll put the IP address in when we're actually at the command line. We are going to push the ring list to flash, uh, whatever the files are. So actually, we can get rid of this because I'm only pushing one, and it is going to be pokemon.raw. So let's push it via uh, TFTP. There's one reason why I also had TFTP up right here. So I need those files to be in the TFTP directory. So I have the ring list.xml. Now I need the pokemon.raw file. Go ahead and cut and paste that. Bam. And let's open up putty. Config T. Copy TFTP 192.168.11.2. That's my TFTP server that is running on this laptop. And it is going to be ring list.xml. And then we're going to copy it to the flash, just like that. Enter. I probably don't need to be in global config mode. Darn it. All right, let me copy this. Ringlist.xml. Uh, do you want to overwrite this? Yes, I already previously have custom ringtones set on my phones, but because I'm doing this for you guys, I'm going to overwrite it, and I'm only going to have one custom ringtone in there now. Hit enter. It's accessing it. And... It should work. Should. Oh, there you go. It loaded. Uh, I actually had to turn off my computer's firewall settings for this to work. So if you are doing this, just make sure that TFTP is working and it's allowed on your firewall. And then let's just transfer the Pokemon file. Done. All right. Easy peasy. What's the next step? Tell it to be a TFTP server. Okay. So again, I don't actually need that. And let's just change this to Pokemon. Pokemon. This is so when the phones access these files on Flash, the router itself is going to be the TFTP server. So you need to know how to point to it when people request it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. TFTP, TFTP server. Oh my gosh, what's the command? Yeah, it is. I probably got to be in global config mode. TFTP server, and then whatever it is. Flash ring list dot XML. TFTP server flash Pokemon dot raw. That should be it. Now we just need to reset the phones. Let's reboot them, and then we should see it in the actual phone directory now. Okay. So I'm going to have to use my phone and, and record this, but I'll just add it to this video, so it'll be seamless. So give me a second for that. All right. So in this video, going to continue on showing you how to push that custom ringtone. I already did the configs on the router. I just need to reboot this phone. 
So I want to show you what custom ringtones I have now. Go to the settings button here. Uh, what, am, what am I trying to do here? Settings. User preferences. Rings. See, so I already have ringtones already set. It's called Guess Who. It's actually a Star Wars Cantina song. So these will actually be erased once I reboot the phone. So go star, star, pound, star, star. That should reboot the phone. It's going to reset. Once it comes up, then the new Pokemon theme song should be there. So I'll wait for this to reboot. All right, now that it booted up, let's go and see it. Rings. Select. Ah, there they go. My other ones are uh, are gone because I overwrote that file. And then we can save it. We could also play it. Let's play it. <laughs> That's awesome. So exit, exit. Now when someone calls, we will get the theme song. So actually, let me call it real quick. Okay, that's enough. So that was it. That was uh, that was how to push custom ringtones to Cisco VoIP phones using Call Manager Express. I uh, hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.